Hi friends, this is one of the most beautiful e-bikes on the market and this bike is helping me to do my technique drills and also the recovery ride. Actually, I've been doing that on the previous model, but this will stay with me right now. Now, we're gonna have one compatibility issue because I'm going to swap these wheels, really tough and good wheels, for some super light carbon DD Swiss Enduro wheels. Let's do it. Here's our issue. This is the magnet for the speed sensor, which is now located right there, just behind this uh, chain stay on the, on the left side. It used to be here, and the magnet was on the wheel. This is, of course, a sleek design. Seems like it's even better. But number one, you cannot do the trick with putting the magnet on your crank arm and kind of hack the speed limit, but that's not the issue in my case. In my case, it is swapping the wheels with the center lock for the wheels and the rotors with the six bolt system. That means I'm not able to put this rotor on my new wheel. I'm gonna use this super light compared to this one uh, rotor, but I don't have any magnet. But I hope that I can take this system and put it on this one, let's see. But first, let's see the new wheels. The front wheel, DD Swiss HXC 1200 hybrid 30 straight pull front half. The rear wheel as well, DD Swiss, same model, HXC 1200 hybrid 30 and famous ratchet system. I prefer the silent ones though. Both wheels are tubeless ready. The front wheel is a 29er, 783. The rear wheel 27.5, 923 grams. The internal width 30 millimeters in both. The external 35.8. In order to remove the front wheel, I'm going to use the Allen key from the rear wheel. Now the rear one. <sighs> the front wheel Merida Expert, which has narrower rim, you'll see that, 935, and the rear one, 1100 grams. Because the original Merida wheels will have 29 millimeters of the internal width and 32.5767 the external. You see, this is the original uh, router. Uh, it has this ring, which has the magnet, I would say, glued to it. I think this is a glue. And the ring is uh, holding to the router, to its spider, uh, by these three little bolts. There is no chance uh, that I will I uh, put this ring onto my router because there, there is no place on the router and on the hub, uh, hubs flange, so I need to figure out something else. We're gonna assemble the front wheel first.
And remember this is six volt system so I have to set this router as if it was already being um, stopped by the caliper so it doesn't make this horrible sound uh, when I brake for the first time. The wheel spins like this so it's gonna be like that. Everything set up. Woo! The new wheels are on, and I'm gonna show you how quickly I actually solve the compatibility problem with the magnet. Let's turn it on. Okay, this is the error that you will see when you don't have a magnet on your rear wheel or on the disc brake rotor. So, what I do is that I simply take my neodymium magnet. It could be smaller actually because this one is quite large, quite big. And I put it just behind the rotor, right there. You see? And then when I spin the wheel and spin the crank, I've got my speed. And now it's working. Riding on the dizzying high. 